scared the ass <laughs> What'd you think of that? Holy oh, awesome. That's not the worst part. I was just planning my fall down. Arms in, tuck it in. Good morning. I am in northeastern Wyoming, making my way to Loveland, Colorado for the Overland Expo. Uh, made it through North Dakota and South Dakota last night. Spent the night around Sundance, Wyoming on a, a BLM spot. Got in pretty late. Um, kind of a rush trip. Worked a little bit late and uh, didn't get on the road until uh, shortly before 6. So didn't get any video or capture any images from there, but uh, it was kind of a cool drive. Showed up in Showed up after dark and uh, spent the night up in the yellow cab and uh, back on the road first thing this morning. Pretty exciting day for me. My uh, son is flying in from Canada. Uh, he's going to join me for the next 12 days. Uh, exploring Colorado and Utah and Wyoming and Montana. So um, pretty excited about that. On my way to the airport, grab him and then uh, off to the expo for a few days and go do some wheeling. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> We're here at the I don't know. That, that looks Server, too... premium WPC, professional camper. Yeah, here I am. Join yourself. What's so... the highlight of your show so far? Oh, the highlight of my show is you cooking me breakfast. Well, I was just about to say, I hope you answer that. Yeah. <laughs> what were you, Aiden? Uh, the three grown men trying to put together the cook surface. Yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> that was quite, I should have, I should have had the camera out for that. Touching the holes too? Two. Nine, three. <laughs> what? So what did you think of that? Getting your ass whooped. Well, now we, we started off pretty cold. <laughs> came on strong in the end and just didn't have it. There you have it. <laughs> Next time. The old man got winded. It's not my fault. <laughs> Very important we stop at Cracker Barrel on this trip. <laughs> what? Oh, you need a come and go? Oh, yeah. You got lots of stuff. Yeah. Everything we started here.
just crossed into Utah, coming from Loveland, Colorado. Spent the weekend at the uh, Overland Expo West, and uh, before I crossed into Utah, stopped at a visitor center in Parachute, Colorado. The gal there mentioned to take the scenic byway from Cisco all the way down to Moab, and uh, otherwise I'd never known. This is one of the most incredible drives I've ever been on, especially in mountain desert area. So if you're ever in the area and you're on your way to Moab, consider taking this route. It's about an hour, an hour and a half long. Some incredibly beautiful scenery up here. Elephant Hill, the Devil's Kitchen, is located a little over an hour south of Moab, Utah, located in the Canyonlands National Park in the Needles District. You'll need to purchase a backcountry trail pass and reserve a campsite if you plan on spending the night at any one of the campgrounds in the Canyonlands backcountry, but it's definitely worth the money. Elephant Hill itself is the first feature you'll encounter. It's not a very large hill, but it's steep and tight switchbacks. It's going to take you a little bit of time. It's certainly doable without a spotter, but I recommend if you're new to off-roading and your rig doesn't have a ton of Great. clearance or bigger tires, you should probably have some help, straight. especially in some of the tighter spots.
The travel time at a Devil's Kitchen in the Confluence area is about two hours or so, but expect to take longer as there are so many spots for you to stop and take in the spectacular scenery. And I totally recommend leaving early in the morning. That'll give you plenty of time to get back into Devil's Kitchen or wherever you decide to camp in the backcountry. Yeah. Left. That's, that's right. <laughs> what do you think of that? Holy shit. That was awesome. That's not the worst part. I was just planning my fall down. Arms in. Tuck it in. Yeah, it's pretty pretty breezy from here. It's just it's the other side that there's a couple of hairy spots. So we just gotta take your time and you guys did good. Clicks in Elephant Hill Run, Moab. We're doing a egg quality control test here. Oh yeah, baby, they're all alive. <laughs> Happy little eggies.
One of the less challenging but very cool features of the entire trail is Devil's Pocket. It's also known as a squeeze. It's about 180 feet long, up to 30 feet deep in some places, and it's just wide enough for a small pickup truck or a Jeep. But I have seen on YouTube an H2 Hummer make it through with no problems, so use the spotter, take your time, you shouldn't have any problems. Good here. You're about to start rubbing on the tire. About to drop. Lots of room over here. Left. It was very tight. This is definitely one of the coolest campsites I've ever been to. It is BEA beautiful. <laughs> it sure is.
after a few days exploring the Needles District, we're heading north, but we wish we had a few more days to see even more of the off-road network in the Canyonlands National Park, as well as the Bears Ears National Monument and the Mantilla Cell National Forest. There are endless overlanding opportunities here and we'll definitely be back. This is an amazing place with amazing scenery. It should be on everyone's overlanding bucket list. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit the like button and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Floyd. This is Aiden. And we're Long Stuff Films. Hi, I'm Barney. This is Aiden. We're with Long Stuff Films. Enjoy. What's that? Barney, Floyd, it's Fred. Hi, I'm Fred. This is Aiden. We're with Long Stuff Films.